Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm wearing copper and she's gorgeous. The color that I have her in is a one, which is a jet black. So if you're looking for a very sleek, everyday bob, this is your go-to. So this is the Jasper unit, and this color is in a F427. The 27 are the light highlights. The base of it is the F4, which is a very true brown. So right now I'm just combing it out. It feels really, really good. It has like a yakky feel to it, and she's very nice. She has soft, wispy layers. She's gonna frame your face nicely. I like to examine the parting space. So this wig actually gives you a lot of parting space right here. And as you can see, it's very soft lace. This is the type of lace that's gonna lay down effortlessly and give you a very natural look. So the way you know how to position the wig correctly is first look at the cap construction. The adjustable straps are always gonna be at the nape of your neck, so in the back. So this is how you line your wig up. And then you have two um, combs on the side, which you're gonna put on the sides of your hair. Right here, as you can see, there's this flap where the lace ends. And this, it, this lace goes ear to ear. Ear to ear meaning it's gonna stop at your ear. That's gonna give you a reference point as to where your wig is going to end. You're gonna start right here. You're gonna hold your head down with your wig cap and then just slide it on. So when cutting your lace, the first thing you wanna do is pin the hair away from the lace so you can get a more accurate um, kind of point of where you want to cut the lace at. You wanna start right here at the end. You wanna cut all of that off of the wig. So what I like to do is you wanna make sure that the scissors are sheer scissors and that they're small and super sharp so that you get a really good cut and so that it doesn't tear the lace. Okay, so as you can see, I left a little bit of the lace right here so that it can blend evenly with your skin. But if you decide as you put the wig on, like, mm, I don't really think I want to leave the lace, I want more of my hairline out, you can always apply some dark powder eyeshadow to blend in with the hair so that it looks like it's hair as opposed to lace. My favorite thing to do is I pull hairs, like straight hairs from the perimeter of the wig and I randomly pull them down. See all of these little wispy hairs right here? You don't need this length because naturally the hair is shorter in the front anyways. And this is what's gonna give you that seamless hairline that looks natural and no one will be able to tell that it's a wig. Paint it up so you can see. And you see all of these right here? We're going to cut them. You wanna make as much friction and static as possible. This is what's gonna make the hair look a little bit more um, natural and it's gonna cause it to lay down. If you cut it straight, it's going to stick up and it's not going to lay down properly. So now you have baby hairs on your wig. I also take my toothbrush and I lay it down. I don't use any products because since it is a synthetic hair, it may cause it to become stiff and it doesn't look as natural, but you could take a toothbrush and simply just lay it down and it'll look extremely natural. It'll lay down, it'll stay in place and it'll give you more of a natural look. So as you can see now, that already looks way more natural than it did before. And another trick that you can do is you can take a little bit of those hairs and you can either pluck them out or take a strand by strand and just gently pull them out. The hair naturally isn't really full right here. So by taking a little bit of the hairs out, it's gonna open it up more, making it look a little bit more natural.
It's all about customizing it to fit you. And lace front wigs are so much fun because it allows you to customize it to fit, you know, your personal style and your taste. Can you see that, you guys? That's how you do it. That's how you make a synthetic wig look more natural. Of course, if it was on natural person, <laughs> it would look really natural. And there you go, your natural looking lace front wig. Oh,